If you are visiting our channel for the first time, please subscribe first to get the basic and advanced maths concepts. Hello everyone. Our today's topic is the length of tangent to the circle. How you can find the length of tangent drawn from a point to the circle? As the, uh, we will learn it from an example so that you can easily find the length of the tangent of any kind of the circle given. So we have the example where find length of the tangent drawn from minus 5 and 4. This is the point from which you have to find the length to circle 5x square plus 5 square 5y square minus 10x plus 15 15y minus 31 equals to 0. So first of all we move towards the diagram that we have already drawn. There is nothing difficult in to it in, in drawing this diagram. You just need to draw a circle. Then we have the center that is minus g and minus f. And how you will, uh, now it is not, uh, uh, no need to get confused about how you will be able to know that the center is minus g and minus f. As the equation of circle given here, this is the equation in, 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 the, uh, in the general form of the circle. So when we talk about the gen general equation of the circle, then we have the center as minus g and minus f as it is given here. That's why we have we uh, already uh, we have already uh, the knowledge about it that the center will be minus g and minus f, uh, and the point P is minus five and four from which the uh, tangent is to be drawn on the circle and it cuts the circle at point Q. So O P Q and and uh, and what we have done we have joined O to Q and O to P and we have made a triangle. Uh, a right angle triangle where we have an angle of 90 degree. Now after drawing this diagram what you have to do you have to find the length of the tangent. So from this diagram we have to check what is uh, what is known and what is unknown. We have to find the le length of the tangent. Now what is the what is that that this is Q to P. It means QP. You have to find QP that is the length of the tangent from point P to the circle. Uh, we have to use the Pythagoras theorem uh, that is basically used for right angle triangle. So I will write by Pythagoras theorem we have the form of Pythagoras theorem as hypotenuse square is equals to base square plus perpendicular square. We have used the Pythagoras theorem because we have a right angle triangle. You can only use the Pythagoras theorem in case of the right angle triangle. We have the triangle that is OQP. Triangle OQ P as 90 degrees on Q that's why I put the Q in the center so from OQP what we have the hypotenuse hypotenuse is the OP OP is the hypotenuse so I'll write OP square equals to what is the base base is OQ square plus what is the perpendicular perpendicular is QP square now as I already told you that we have to find QP so let's Isolate QP on one side and move the others on the other side. So we will have keep QP square is equals to OP square minus OQ square. So in this way we can easily find the length of the tangent. The length of the tangent is QP. P is the point from where we have to find to the circle. Now we have to find OP square and OQ square. So let's find OP and OQ. OP. First of all, what is OP? Let's see. OP is the distance between O and P. So, we will use distance formula to find the distance between two points. We have two points. We can easily use the distance formula. We have two points O and P. You can easily take X1 to any point here. It doesn't matter. So, X1, X2 and Y1, Y2. So, formula is X2 minus X1 whole square. This is the distance formula whole square. So, put the values of O and P x2 I'll, I'll take x2 as minus 5 plus a, a, x1 will be minus g so minus minus becomes plus so it will be plus g whole square plus 4 plus f whole square so if we simplify it we will get under root g minus f whole square plus 4 plus f whole square so we have got the op and uh, if we take the OP square, uh, the square will be cancelled out. Currently, we will find OP. Then we have OQ. Now, how you will find OQ? As we have only O point and Q, we don't know the point of tangent. So, for that purpose, we know that OQ is basically the radius of the circle. So, radius of the 
of the general form of the uh, general uh, of the general form of the of the circle as we have already cal calculated just like the center if i write here this is the very important point to be noted that the center and radius are already known from the general form of equation of the circle as the center we have already written here minus g and minus f and what will be the radius radius will be under root g square plus f square minus c we have already discussed this concept in our previous lectures that if you came across the general form of equation of the circle then the center and radius will be in this form as the oq is the radius so we will replace it with the radius of the circle so the radius of the circle will be under root g square plus f square minus c that is basically the radius radius of circle so we have got op and oq and uh, we can easily uh, find the equation of tangent but it is not ended here let's put it into the formula this in into this formula as qp square is equals to op square under root g minus f whole square plus 4 plus f whole square and we have to take again the square as we have square here minus oq square what is oq oq is under root g square plus f square minus c whole square so square will be cancelled out with the under root we will get the simplified form as minus 10 plus 8f minus c plus 41 and this is equal to qp square now in order to find the distance um, uh, length of the tangent what is unknown here unknown is this g this f and this c and from where we will get this so that we can easily find the length of the tangent that is qp qp so for that purpose we have to use which equation we we have to use this equation of circle as we have to find the length of the tangent of this the length of the tangent of this circle so let's find it so if i write here again the equation qp and if i talk about just qp that is actually the distance just qp we take uh, taking square root on both sides square will be cancel from here we will get minus 10g plus 8f minus c plus 41 so this is the equation now for we have to find g f and c from equation of circle given in the question as we have the distance in the form we uh, uh, as we have the distance that will be a single number so we have to put the gf and c so what in, what is the equation given in the question because in the question we have the equation of circle as now we have to convert into the into the into a form that will represent the circle it, this, we have already discussed in our previous lectures so we have to divide the whole equation by 5 because for equation of circle we must have x square and y square here equation of circle with which we will this equation of circle will be compared with the general form of equation of circle in order to find g f and c this is the equation 1 and the general form of equation of circle is this will be equation number 2 now compare 1 and 2 to find g f and c minus 2 with 2g and 3 with 2f here we have y as well i have missed it and then minus 131 by 5 with c so this is how you can compare them now you, you can easily find their values as 2g is equals to minus 2 so g will be equals to minus 1 then 2f is equals to 3 then f is equals to 3 by 2 and c will be equals to minus 131 by 5 now we have got g f and c and just put these values where in this equation equation this if i label it as a so i'll write here put g f and c in equation a as qp is the length of the tangent that is equals to under root minus 10 into g g is minus 1 plus 8 into f f is 3 by 2 minus c is minus 131 by 5 plus 41 if we simplify it we'll get qp is equals to under root 4 4 6 divided by 5 so this is the this is the length length of the tangent that is drawn from the point given to the circle 
that's all from today's lecture thank you thank you for watching if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates thank you